it's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Saika's existence has disappeared without trace. It's just like he said. After class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh-huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose all of the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. I didn't even have time to, s to mourn Saika and Jingle's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. S sorry. Mm. Mm. So what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it'll be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bedroom. Damn. Hey, Stop come that. on. Come on. <laughs> Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Saika's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. M Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting the press isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone just... Try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Hmm. We were already working together and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened to once, but that it's a question of when, not if, if the next one will take place. <laughs> yeah, because Sasayaka made the first move. But, but if we work together against some mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. It'll be over here in the real world. Working together, finding a common enemy? Like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever expected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath, defying them may be too great, too great of a risk. So then... Then what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly does want to escape, will just have to follow the rules. Hmm. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. N no. What? No what? I... I can't take it. I... I don't want to live, even if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, we would've all died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame, not you, not Leon, and not Saika. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. And in the end it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead direct it at the mastermind.
Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is as such. It is oh, soon the doors to the dining hall will oh and one other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah! What, what was that just now? <sighs> he was saying it was our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that we saw the deaths of three classmates. Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, then he called us to the gym. We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. Uh, doesn't it just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa, I sounded pretty cool now just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just gonna die in writing agony for? So? Why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you'll uncover the secret of the Assassin's Fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in Empire Darkness. The power can be yours. Mm -hmm. That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. That doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm. Ah! I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world, it's a whole new world, will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know you, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. <laughs> oh god. I gotta, I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So, go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But, a new world? Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlike- PIECE OF SHIT! Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant. It seems we'll have to search the school one more you hear time. Me? Okay then, let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source! Now let's get moving! Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym.
What's up guys, it's James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc last time. We voted for Leon. He was the one that killed Saika. And we saw his execution, and today... We just can't keep moving forward. What's up, hero? What the heck? Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad, this is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, to the untrained eye is nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. Serious. That stuff you see lie up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh -huh. I've been stuck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. We can see the sword is still gone. If we turn around now, what's up, Tucker? Well, there's the elephant in the room. Got it. Makoto, look! The gate blocking the skiers is gone! It would seem the path up to the second floor is a. I didn't mean to skip that. But it also is the utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in Without case. A doubt. Oh, aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impressed myself. You sometimes. understand? Well, I'll leave this school. I'll leave the school to you. Okay, well, let's go up. Can we actually go up? The gate that was fucking stairs has been open. Is this what Monokuma meant by a new world? If so, then what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Let's start by investigating the second floor of the school. I did not mean to do that. What was map again? X. Yeah, you can see. We have all this to explore, and some stuff has opened up on the first floor as well. So, let's start off by the pool. Just a second! Oh, Makoto, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! You don't have to keep, keep repeating it. Okay. I got it. There's a ton of exercise equipment in the block room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. Well, she is the ultimate swimming pro. We'll be, uh... It won't be a surprise for her to be excited about a pool. What's up, Celeste? <laughs> the second floor is open up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Being sus, I'm kidding. What's up, Chihiro? Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool uh, yet? Um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem the type who might not be into that kind of but... thing. But still, sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot inside the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go into the um... locker room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. The locker rooms connect to the pool. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. And I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? Alright. Time for this thing, this monstrosity. Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? Behind the door is this locker room? Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbooks to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really! Oh. Hmm. If you want to unlock her, unlock her, the, unlock her, what the heck? Unlock her the locker rooms, oh, I guess it runs. You'll have to swipe your personal e handbook across the card reader next to you. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for girls. And that's the bottom line. 
Uh, but what if someone opens his door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for a scandalous sexual depravity. See that Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? It'll be all. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot like that. Um, um no, I, it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy can borrow the girl's handbook, and that would get him into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! What? That never occurred to me. To think someone would, could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm. hmm. Okay, then how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule! As at this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, got it? You like that? I'm kind of a genius. It's because my brain is 100. I did not even imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they will likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security of stuff. Of course! Oh, <laughs> my favorite line in the... <laughs> one of my favorite lines in Dangerumpha 1. It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazy maniacs. You're at the age you try to hump in a plastic puppy. <laughs> Can you keep a straight face? <laughs> I love this line, it's so funny, it's it's so Monokuma-esque. Definitely one of my favorite lines in Monik Dengarumpa Trigger Happy Epic. Not my favorite line in all the games, but still, this one is a really good one. <laughs> so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> in that case, I would ask that you keep the safe close eye on our doors. If some man or woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting a holy image of the school yes. itself. Yes. I don't care what happens to your private horns. By force or by cunning, do whatever you Just want. The worst. See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! What do you want to be ya? Oh. Man, the super bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got up. it! Celestia Hero, you want to come As with me? For me? There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass the sign. <laughs> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swan to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Well, let's check out the locker room. No, I don't want to get shot. I ain't that crazy. Here we have the locker room. We have some gym equipment and whatnot. Uh, well, we can check out. Oh, come on. Really, we can't check out the equipment. Oh, okay. Oh, we can check out the poster. That's the next best thing. Now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in. Put this in the school. But is it really okay to have something like this here? I thought we would get a coin. That would have been funny. Okay. Look at this giant pool of Jesus. I bet we could only check the bleachers at the pool and the... Uh, well, the bleachers in that locker over in the corner. Uh, I haven't actually been on the left side yet. Why did it take me over here? Okay. Oh, let's check out that locker. Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that in a normal pool. Hey, there's my coin. That's really it. I can't look at anything else. I thought there'd be a cool. Oh, well, there's nothing there. I doubt even if you zoom into those two, it'll be uh, anything interesting. Well, that's it for the pool in the locker room, so we could freely move on to another area. So let's walk backwards. Um, also, there might be subclassrooms like this one and whatnot. I'm gonna make a quick peek in them, see if there's anything. If not, then I'll just cut it out. Well, 
Well, Sakura's in here. I can't do it. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Alright, Sakura, what's up? I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. <laughs> I should probably take a really close look around. That's about it here. To a, uh... We've seen the sophomores, I guess, in, in My Hero, but we don't know any of their names. <laughs> okay. Well, we have a gate here to the third floor. The gate's blocking my way, so there's still another floor, which means not everything has opened up yet. Okay. We have a library there, but first and foremost... No, not the menu. I want to check over here because there's a lonely classroom all the way over here. I want to see if there's anyone in there. Reality isn't everything. Okay, that was about it. Leave the area. Okay. 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 Last thing on this floor is the library. Dang, a lot of people in here. Well, these do I understand, and so I understand Kyoko. Nifumi's probably looking for some manga. What's up, Toko? You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> no, not particularly. There's nothing really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems to be like. No, nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section now? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Huh? Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. <gasps> Toko, how mm. dare you? Mm. Mm. I ain't seen when you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? My stores are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't mean everything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> Ooh, the lady doth protest so much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy on boy action. <laughs> but boy on boy, I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. <gasps> I'm telling you! It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Nope. <laughs> Especially, it's popular all around the world now. Yeah! Uh, just talking about it makes me sick into my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Grr, you, you insulted me and insulted my honor. You used to really are starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like that. It's a battle between the nerds. What do you expect when nerds collide? <laughs> but still, this library is most interesting. Oh, what just to stop talking? Interesting about it. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Fine then. See if I care. Hey! What's up to me, my boy? I'm totally shocked! How come? Damnation! They have all these books here and not one copy. <laughs> I'm like, damnation. <laughs> well, well, yeah, why would they have comics in the library? <laughs> Plus, my family are just porn by a draw, a draw by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> I, I do get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell that nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. You know nothing! Now, here it is. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rid that that containers of... that contains. The meaty pulps of my genius. Yo! My creatures are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like you will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Okay. What's up, Kyoko? <sighs> it's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not that kind of place I want to do much reading in. That's it? Okay. What's behind the store? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. Oh, we still have two things to check out here. This envelope here. 
the shelf that is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written in there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Oh god. This is a serious point, but I really want to do the voice. Alright, let's do it. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution. <laughs> of, of, okay, I can't, I can't keep straight face while doing it. Of higher learning with, with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must, low, must now lower the current of its glorious history for the time being. The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to re reopen our doors as soon as the issues are for forcing our closure has been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting to me. It would seem Hope's Peak has stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online on, about the school and I never saw anything about this. So in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming it that, that this letter is real. However... If it is real though, why does... Why does so, that does solve one mystery of surrounding the school? The reason there are no other students here could be because the school has already shut down. Hmm. That would be a nice simple sim solution, it's true. But then what about this other part? What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... There's still one thing here. It looks like a laptop. The laptop it looks pretty old, and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? It's too bad. I was hoping I could use it go, on go online and see what's going on on the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I could do now was hope someone else found something worthwhile. 
Okay, I better hack to the dining hall back as soon as possible. Oh. Listen to me. Well, this is interesting. Some stuff has opened up, but uh, I thought you could do it in any order. So we're gonna find out the rest of floor two next time. So. Next time let's play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, we'll go over all the details of our whole new world. I will see you guys then.